Welcome back to the Neurology Channel, your trusted source for all things related to neurology and brain health. Today, we have an essential topic to explore, benstropine, also known as cogentine, R. Whether you're dealing with neurological conditions or simply curious about medications, you're in the right place. Before we dive into this, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss our latest updates. Benstropine is a medication that plays a critical role in neurology. It's crucial to understand what it is, how it works, and its various applications. Join us as we navigate the world of benstropine. Indications for benstropine. Benstropine has several vital applications within neurology. Here are some of its primary indications. Parkinson's disease. It's widely used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease, a neurological disorder characterized by movement problems such as tremors, stiffness, and difficulty with balance and coordination. Extrapyramidal symptoms, EPS, Benstropine is also prescribed to manage EPS, which are side effects of certain medications like antipsychotics that can cause movement problems similar to those seen in Parkinson's. How Benstropine works within your nervous system. Imagine your brain as a grand conductor leading an orchestra. Each musician represents different parts of your body, and the music they create is your body's movements. For everything to sound harmonious and coordinated, the conductor needs a special substance called acetylcholine. Parkinson's disease. In Parkinson's, it's like the conductor's baton is losing its touch. There's too much acetylcholine in the mix, causing a discordant performance. This discord results in symptoms like tremors, stiffness, and difficulty with movement. It's a bit like the orchestra playing too loudly and not following the conductor's instructions properly. Benstropine steps in as a volume control. It reduces the excessive acetylcholine, helping the conductor regain control over the orchestra. As a result, the tremors, stiffness, and movement difficulties start to improve. Benstropine ensures the orchestra plays in harmony once again, allowing you to move more smoothly and comfortably. Extrapyramidal symptoms, EPS. For EPS, it's like the orchestra members are out of sync due to medication side effects. Benstropine acts as a conductor for this uncoordinated performance. It helps restore balance and coordination, reducing the unwanted movements caused by certain medications. Think of it as guiding the orchestra back into synchronization. In essence, benstropine is like a volume control or conductor's baton for your brain's orchestra. It steps in when acetylcholine levels are imbalanced, ensuring that your body's movements are coordinated and harmonious once more. Remember, it's crucial to take benstropine exactly as prescribed by your healthcare provider. The right dosage is determined based on your specific condition, so never hesitate to reach out to your doctor if you have any questions or concerns. Benstropine may take some time to show its full benefits, so be patient and maintain open communication with your healthcare team throughout your treatment. They are there to support you on your journey to better brain health and overall well-being. Dosage and side effect. If you or someone you know is prescribed benstropine, it's essential to work closely with a healthcare professional who can determine the right dosage for your specific condition. Dosages can vary significantly, so personalized guidance is essential. Like all medications, benstropine may have side effects. Common side effects include dry mouth, blurred vision, and constipation. Remember to discuss any side effects with your healthcare provider, as they can help manage them. Precautions and warnings. Here are some important precautions and warnings to keep in mind when using benstropine. Inform your healthcare provider about any other medications you're taking to avoid potential interactions. Pay attention to changes in your mood or behavior, as benstropine may affect these aspects. Regular monitoring may be necessary to ensure the medication is effective and safe for your specific condition. In conclusion, benstropine, or cogentine, R, is a valuable medication in neurology, primarily used to manage Parkinson's disease and extrapyramidal symptoms. Always remember that this video is for informational purposes, and you should consult your healthcare provider for personalized advice on using benstropine. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with others who might benefit, and don't forget to subscribe for more valuable insights from the Neurology Channel. Thank you for joining us, and take care of your brain health.